Hey guys, it's Christine, and we're going to make some beef stew. This stew has lots of flavor, and leftovers taste great reheated, so I know you're gonna love it. It's the perfect warming, cozy meal for fall and winter evenings. I found all of these ingredients at Basil Bandwagon Natural Market. Beef stew meat is commonly called chuck, but you can also use other types of roasts and even use steak like I'm going to. So first, I'm going to cut the steaks into cubes. Then in a large bowl, stir together a quarter cup of flour and a few pinches of white pepper. Add the beef cubes and toss to evenly coat them with the flour mixture. Heat a couple tablespoons of olive oil in a heavy bottom pot like a Dutch oven. Add half of the beef, being careful not to overcrowd them. Brown the beef on all sides by cooking and turning them for five minutes. Repeat with the remaining beef, adding a little more oil to the pan if needed. Transfer the beef to a bowl. To the pot, add one and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and a half cup of beef broth. Cook and stir over medium heat for a few minutes using a wooden spatula to release any flavorful bits from the pot. Add the cooked beef back to the pot along with four more cups of beef broth. One tablespoon of apple butter. One teaspoon of dried thyme. One teaspoon of sugar and two bay leaves. Skim off any foam that appears while cooking. Reduce the heat to low and cook covered for one and a half hours. Now prepare the vegetables. I'm dicing one medium onion, This is what happens when you can't find your onion goggles. <laughs> I'm crying black tears. Whew. Thank God, I found them. Ah, oh, relief. And now I'm peeling and chopping up one and a half cups of winter squash. I'm chopping two medium turnips that have been peeled.
and I'm chopping one half of a medium zucchini. Add the onion, squash, and turnips to the stew. I underestimated how much I could fit in this pot. I'm gonna have to switch to a larger pot because I didn't even add the turnips yet. <laughs> Cook covered for another 30 minutes. If the stew starts to look too dry, you can add a little more of the beef broth or some red wine or water. Add the zucchini now and cook for 10 more minutes. Season with one to two teaspoons of sea salt and additional white pepper to taste. Serve the stew hot. Ladle the stew into bowls and serve it hot. A nice crusty piece of bread goes really well with a hearty bowl of stew. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe so you find out about new videos when they come out. Thanks for watching and see you the next time.